Hello everybody, and welcome to the second episode of my DK Faction gameplay series. I'm Icon, and we're going to try and get out of this area here today. Preferably without losing horribly. There's a ton of vampires in my area here, and we still don't control all of the mines. I want to change that during today's gameplay, and at the same time, I really want to get the stronghold and the mercenary hall built so i can finally build that beacon it's really really bothersome to me but i can't really change it so to actually get into a better position to change it we're going to build ourselves a marketplace so we can trade those materials for money i guess in the long run this will help me a lot so let's get over to another fight i'd say let's buy a few troops while we're at it and uh, we're going to visit our good friend Boneface here, or whatever his name was. Bonehead, I'm sorry, Bonehead. Almost, though. Boneface, Bonehead. Almost the same. Now, we got ourselves a nice amount of units here, so let's see what we can do. There's vampires and tarantulas, and it's all happening down there. Okay, that's actually not bad. So we got right now, in the front line, all the freebies of vampires child of midas let's make sure that my ranged dudes are standing accordingly and let's see so let's put up a force field on top of my ranged dudes here because there has been have been again wonderful helpful um comments there guys i really appreciate your help so one of the most helpful things there was that I should really play out the the wither um, the wither mancer trade more or however it's called tldr my dudes are ex excellent at creating fresh undead whenever they kill something which is either afflicted by a spell from me or if my, if it's killed by troops that are benefiting from a blessing from my side so all in all to get my frontline sustainable i really need that a sanguinist Yes, please. So we're going to use... Ah, Malediction is the thing. Here, Malediction is what we're going to play out harder now. Because this yields more troops for everything I kill. And since the DK faction has that big downside of no infirmary, it's really, really helpful to at least have other functionalities that help you out with gaining troops. So that's why this is such a good thing, and thanks guys for pointing that one out for me. I kind of overlooked that, how important it is, you know? So we can and will sell now a few materials here, because I want to hire myself a little bit of extra troops here. Not sure which ones. Let's go for more ghosts. I like the ghosts a lot because they have the ethereal trait, so they are harder to kill, and they terror enemies that they hit. So they're, this is a nice combo of being harder to kill and debuffing my enemies fancily while being hard to kill. I like that. So let's get down there and see what we can do. Ooh, my good friend Bonehead will accompany me here. This is probably one of the hardest faces for the DK faction, because, well... Unlike other factions, you you have to work around smartly with your troops. You don't have that many troops, so you have to be careful with them. So, one thing I was asking myself was... Uh, let's try that. If I send in Bonehead here, and if he gets beaten, do these losses... Um, do these losses go over to the... Or do they carry over? Yeah, that's more like it. So here, these... Uh, it's not really visible, isn't it? Okay. Nah, not worth it. Just wanted to try how good my bodyguards trade by now is working out, but uh, obviously not that much. Not that much. So we go in India, I guess. Again. Alrighty. So... Let's get onto on our back line there. And let's buff our uh, ranged units so whatever they kill is going to be fresh units for me. 
hope the zombies up there won't turn into a big problem later. But... Looks like we're pretty golden here. So I lost the Sanguinist, I lost all my vampires. Okay. Nah. Nah. Not not worth it. So that's a problem. There were a lot of ethereal units in the enemy side, and uh, I mentioned it. Ethereal units, hard to kill. I guess that uh, that gimped me there. So there are rangers. There's swordsmen. There's hillkeepers. I'm pretty sure that this will be yet another fight where I bleed horribly from. I have a hard time imagining that we actually got a realistic chance to get this fight done in a fashion that we don't bleed horribly in terms of losses. I really got no clue how that's supposed to work out. Well, let's try it. Often things are way better than I anticipate them, but maybe not this time. So our vampires are gone again. But not the Sanguinists. Ah, there's one Sanguinist down. We're carving through the elves. But I even lost a soul mage here, so... Hardly worth it. I lost two of my soul mages, that many bone shooters. Nah. So, sadly, we are now sitting in a situation where I hardly have a chance in tackling down my enemies around me. Everywhere I go, the losses are just too severe. You know, with this faction, losses are extremely dangerous or extremely problematic, so to say. So we're going to sit it out here. And it's better to stop bleeding and rack up fresh troops instead of winning fights now with extremely high losses or goals that aren't that important. Oh, seriously, we didn't... We didn't capture that one. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, no further comment. That one time when I forget to actually claim the building. So, we grow into a new field of expertise. Let's go for the Well of Power. Aspect of Shadow. I want. Can I... Can I have those tomorrow, too? So this is very, very bothersome for me. I hate it to just sit still and not do anything. This feels like a horrible play for my side. But, you know, we need that so freaking badly. And if I could, I totally would love to build the Hall of Death tomorrow as well. So probably there is a chance to do so. Let's check it out. But... <laughs> I literally can't fight against any of these. Oh, there's one party we can go for. Okay, at least one of them. Let's pick up some extra skeleton here. And fight at this place. Alrighty, so that's going to be a better fight, I suppose. Another thing that's going to work out quite decently for me here is the fact that we are going to... We're going to... Oh no, I forgot my lost my train of oh, lost my train of thought. Dang. Ah, I got more mana, that's what I wanted to say. I took a moment to, uh, br to take a breather and refill my mana which was probably a really good move. So we lost the Vampire, but beyond that, we didn't lose anything of uh, any importance. Carcass. Uh, yeah. If I can't afford it, I'll take it. So, more Malediction. Whenever your account... There we go. I still don't know what the higher ranks of this do, but I'd assume they give me higher amounts of... Uh, or better troops. I think that's what it does. So let's go for swarming as well. Or I don't know. Let's go for the third level here first. I have a feeling as if it would be worth it. Alright, some extra gold here. And uh well, 
I hope that with some trading I'll be able to buy myself that bone dragon thing because I personally am a big fan to have all my resource or my, all my troop building thingies done by the end of week three. Looking good though. Yeah, we got the Hall of Death down. Nice. So, Bone Worms, Flying in Charge, or Rot Knights, Critical Strike, in Charge. I love flying units. So, the Thanatos is Ethereal, Death Strike, or this dude, Wide Attacks and Terra. Yeah. I feel like I took a really good choice there, simply because I love ethereal units. They're among my favorites because, you know, hard to kill. I already explained that. Oh, week three was horrible, but I, I really don't know if you really can do it that much better. No, don't know. I guess you can. No, forget that line. Of course you can do better. But uh, under these circumstances and given my knowledge level, I don't know if it's really that much. What's really a big, big issue here for me, though, is that I bleed so horribly from all of the fights that are happening here. So I want to have as many of these soul mages as possible. But beyond that, we really don't have enough money to go for any bigger stunts. There's one good thing, our dude here has a terrific army to pass over. Oh, no, he doesn't. It's just... never mind. <laughs> it's just what it's looking like from the outside. Okay, moderate difficulty everywhere. At least that's what they say. Easy difficulty. Now, we're going to save here because I am tired of losing. I gotta say, DK Faction probably is one of the most challenging factions I've played so far. Honestly. I think now, though, we're going to be in a way better spot due to the fact that we got that many liches now. Oh, I can't pay the Disrupting Ray. I was wondering, like, why can't I buy it? Why can't I cast that spell? Of course I can. There we go. Also, big, big, big thanks for the people pointing out how unit movement works better in this game. So I learned now that when you drag and drop your blob of creatures, you merely give them a command where they should move. So for example here, this is just a uh, move here and then fight from this spot accordingly. And if you want to give a specific attack command, it's not that po it's not really possible. You can either command your army to defend as a whole or attack as a whole. Defend is supposed to be really good when you're uh, relying on ranged units more. Could be a strat for my character here. So, heavy sword or gold? I'm taking the sword. Because this is going to be a good item for my other hero. And the 750 gold, they are pretty good, I know, but at the end of the day, this is worth more. <coughs> Increases the mana cost and the effectiveness of all spells by 50%. Okay, costier spells, but more oomph behind it. That's a double-edged sword, to be fair, because that also means that my mana management is a lot harder now as well. I don't even want to know how big and bad my uh, my enemy faction here on the other side is already. So what we're going to do now is we're going to build those archives of magic. I know I need the Empire of DK as quick as possible, but I really need better spells too. The spells I'm running around here are, are quite atrocious to, to put into friendly words. Because uh, these weren't at all a good fit for my character, so... You don't have enough crystal right now. That's because I didn't claim it early enough. Totally my fault. <laughs> okay, so... Damn. I'm not happy with uh, how things are looking right now. Not at all, to say the least. But probably it's gonna be all fine. Hopefully it's going to be all fine. So now Empire of DK, we got now a maxima or maximized income. 
really important. And I can attack anybody, I guess. Guess it's all still, yeah, moderate difficulty. That's pretty disgusting, to say the least. Because I'm um, going to lose a ton of critters if I attack now. And I am not gaining any real progress if I don't. So that's a really bad situation to be in right now. And I think my transition in this uh, in this run was somehow really bad. I, I feel like I keep losing so many units every fight that I really got a very, very hard time to propel, to propel myself forward. Somehow, somehow I feel like I keep losing as much as I'm gaining, and that's a really bad thing. I also think that it's a really brutal and nasty start to have that many undead units. I'm not sure if Malediction is working on undead units or not. I Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe Malediction works just fine on undead units as well, but I'm not sure, you know? I'm not sure about this. I got the feeling as if it could be as well that undead units can't be transformed into undead. Feel free to leave me a comment if you know more about that. So, flame strike, shield, affects friendly units. Oh yeah, mmm. I guess that's the one spell we needed. First off, it's a brilliant resilience buff. Second off, it should increase the the amount of units we gain out of each combat massively. Now we're talking. All right. So probably my mistake was not was to focus the spell casting not hard enough. Now that I look more closely on it. Hmm. Interesting. So we gained Bone Life, Wretched. Yeah. Now it's getting good. Okay. A Banshee for a little bit of mana. No thanks. Just no thanks. Sorcery, cooldown reduction, mysticism. This character has such mana issues. There's no mana increaser on this whole board. So let's go for champion. Creatures will power 9+. plus. I bet these dudes here power 8, but these guys power 14, just like I thought. 20% more health and damage. Ooh, that's nasty. So... Our liches just grew a lot more powerful there. I'll take the XP, because resource can be can be gained otherwise, I'd, I'd say. Alright, somehow the game thinks now that our enemies down there are easy. That's a good thing, because that means uh, my, my reinforcements I gained were spiffy enough to actually convince the game that this is now an easy fight. There's one big downside though, I don't have the necessary mana to pull off that trick one more time. Because if I remember correctly, the shield spell co did cost me a lot more. So Architect Soul Siphon, nah, not that interesting. Tomb of Silence, Growth of Units. So, well, if I upgrade the beacon, I'm pretty sure I'm unable to afford the benefits of that, so... Right now, let's keep hiring units. I think that's way smarter than pondering about... Oh, well, where is it? These units all suck. Nah, not really. But it sucks to just add in small amounts of them. It's not worth it. So, yeah, let's, let's go for the upgraded mansion and... I want to have only Sanguinists from here on. Real vampires, so powerful vampires. Okay. I still want that freaking gold mine, but I don't dare to. Seriously, this is such a scary fight. Mesmer's Band. Ooh. 50% of summoned creatures become permanent? Damn, I want that. Sounds like a great artifact. Okay. So, let's go. I hope I have enough mana for the shield spell. Let's put that on half speed. I really want to order my dudes towards this direction. And, oh dang, I can't cast the shield. Because it's 21 mana. Arf. 
I'm not particularly sure if it's uh, such a good thing. Or... Uh, Alright, never mind. We're bleeding our units like crazy here right now. So, I think what I'm going to pick up first is that trinket which gives me access to to summoning spells. Because summoning is one of the easiest and f most foolproof ways to get on top of every sort of... Sick. To get on top of every sort of ranged units. So I want to have several clusters here. So we don't have a leak. 31 zombies do take a while until they go down. Alright, so we either debuff our enemies or we buff our own troops. So let's see. Yeah, we gain troops out of that. Great. So I really need more more mana. Did I just lose my bone dragons? That's that's disgusting. This is supposed to be an easy fight. We're also bleeding most of our soul mages here, mostly because of a huge blob of zombies there, okay. So, well, I think I have a really crappy start here, somehow. Somehow nothing really works out decently. All these easy fights aren't easy at all. I'm bleeding troops like crazy, and I don't really know what I'm doing wrong here. That's the biggest issue about it. Like... As long as you know what's going wrong, you always have some angle to improve on. Right now, I simply don't feel capable of understanding what's going that wrong here. The only thing that I should and could try, what's crossing my mind, is that we could roam around with more simple units and never, never, ever with a low amount of mana. Because I think that was uh, the big game breaker there. When I had enough mana in that other fight, we were A, ripping them totally into pieces, and B, I was gaining way more than I lost. I gotta say, the DK faction is probably one of the hardest to play. Like, I think you can do really crazy shenanigans with it once you're good at it, but to get there, the other factions feel a lot easier to play around with. Not gonna lie. So, we got all those expendable frontliners here. Let's put them there. So, let's put a shield on our troops and see. I wish we, we would get a uh, more precise readout about certain spells. Some buff spells are damn unprecise about how they work. Improves, improves this and that greatly. Yeah. Okay. But that's a very uh, undefined statement. So if there's any mod around there which fixes that, I'd love to have that. But you see, we had a shield up and all of a sudden our losses were quite minimal. So yeah. My shortage of mana is really one of my biggest issues here. Alright, let's go for the swarming, because I love that. And most importantly, gold mine! That's good. That's really good for us. So, the main hero has to claim all that. That's just fine. Okay. So, what I learned was, so far, I did not focus magic quick enough. Big downside, you really need that on this faction. I, I really start to notice that if you're not playing the hero who's not needing that, because uh, Bonehead's thingy here works differently. Here he's uh, just... The hero gains the curse of undeath, yeah. I, find, I personally find that a lot less appealing than the other spell, but, well... That's just me. That's just me personally. 
All right, so we're uh, we're we're slowly getting there, I think. So by now we have a pretty stupid amount of money. Per turn, I thought. Now let's grab ourselves some more soul mages. So I'm going to sell a couple of the resources here. A little bit of the sulfur. Just because I really want those dudes on maximum level. Because, you know, the difference between a soul mage and a lich is that they summon skeletons whenever they hit something. You know? That's pretty big. Mana Spring. Converts all the hero's movement today into mana points. Okay. That's something we are going to use as well. Now, what do we have here? Let's see if I can tackle this uh, fight here now better. Yay, he's gaining spells. And at this point... Our bodyguard friend here, you know, it's, it's growing better. I'm very, very concerned about the power of the green player, though. Gotta say, this is quite cumbersome for me. So, we can't give up the control of this battle. By the way, never give up control over fights in the DK faction. That's one lesson that's been very, very valuable for me. Simply because you transform the enemies into fresh troops and while you're in auto fight the uh, the auto fight doesn't cast any spells on the enemy so therefore your whole replenishment system doesn't work anymore that's a long story short so Alright, there's a lot of uh, commotion around my, my around my soul mages, but it looks like we're good. Okay. Yay! So what were what were the losses this time? Nothing to worry about. Yay! Perfect. So I can get myself a lich. Yes, please. And most importantly, we now got the Massimers band. That means my character has now theoretically access to summoning yeah i prefer that over the potency because you know potency might be all fine and dandy but if you don't have the necessary mana to pull it off it is quite useless speaking about mana i'm really bothered by the fact that this character has such a crappy mana management and there seems to be nothing i can do about that that's really really bothering me not gonna lie so i'm out of Quicksilver here. Oh, sorry. Mercury, it's cold. Okay. So, we got nine mana left. I hope it'll be enough for something to cast. This is really, 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 really bothersome about this hero. That it comes with all those fancy, nasty things. So, let's go on defense notice. And let's go on to attack again. So, haste is freaking weak. Force field is also freaking weak. Oh man, I hated that. The game always keeps uh, zooming somewhere out there when you just try to get your uh, spells. Am I the only one being bothered by that so hard? <laughs> okay, let's smack some haste and some other spells on top of that. Should be working out decently. I lost a Sanguinist. Seriously. We lost a whole freaking vampire to these dudes. Whatever. Whatever. That's combat without mana. So, Aromancy and Terramancy. So, I want to have more Aromancy. Because uh, I personally think that buff spells are probably the biggest and baddest thing to pick for your 
or your Withermancers, simply because this gives you the ability to transform your buffs also directly into troops. I like that. So, Archmage Tribunal. Well, this doesn't refill my mana. I really feel like this faction could use so freaking much some building to replenish mana. Necromancers are so hungry for mana. And my mage right now isn't even able to really utilize necromancy. We're skipping out on it uh, most of the time simply because I don't have the mana to you to anything. So I find that quite bothersome about this faction, to be quite honest. And I hope that this might see a fix in the future, because this is an unfair, um, or, or it feels quite unfair. I don't know if it's uh, balancing-wise really an issue or not, but it sure as hell feels pretty crappy to be that one faction which needs a tremendous amount of mana, and at the same time you're one of the worst factions at generating mana. So that's somehow, somehow a little bit uncool. So here we go. Disrupting Ray on these dudes, and now we should gain a crap ton of enemy uh, of new troops out of that. And so we do. So well, I totally dislike the fact that the classic necromancy, like summoning fallen enemies and such, is probably the most weak way of getting it. Like, uh, I, I personally feel like as if the uh, Malediction here is the way better way... Way better way. Yeah, is a much more efficient way of gaining your troops than the other way around. And that, I must say, feels very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, let's recruit ourselves a new hero. Lord of None. Because I really want to have some more bodyguard action. There we go. So this dude is actually running around with copies of bone fragments. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, that's the power of bodyguards, because I figured it's about time that we use our bodyguard heroes. Yeah. So I wanted to try out if it actually sticks. Let's try out if it actually sticks. Now, moderate difficulty fight. We got this much power sent out from reserves. Whatever. What's this button meaning? And uh, I'm even able to shield my troops. That's crazy. Okay. So we'll see how that worked out. Technically, it should be a lot less dudes now. And it's now flak as an easy fight. Let's check it out. This is a brilliant way of softening up the enemy in a controlled battle. And yes, it works. So, yeah. This feels really nuts. So, um... All in all, I I owe this strat to you guys, so uh, thanks a lot for uh, giving me the pointers to that. Let's see how this will work out. We're losing a couple of spiders, but little do I care. All in all, we, our army is growing, and the most fun part of this is now the fact that while this dude's army is growing, we can now get over to this place, hire ourselves just the next hero, and repeat. At Noceum. We now have broken the game. Okay. So, uh, this strat is a little bit uh, debatable, abusey, call it however you want it to. Let's grab her troops, because, you know, it would be a waste of good troops to uh, to lose them here. And let's just get in there, and uh, Wither Mages are even better in that regard. Because um, able to just uh, 
plot down these super strong spells on top of her troops. What do we have here? Blind. Disrupting Ray. I know that I'm uh, overdoing it a wee bit, but uh, the more damage I do, the better, you know? There we go. There's a decent chance that I'm actually winning this. And due to the fact that all my new troops that I will be generating will all be moved to the other hero, we will not have any losses furthermore. We will only have... <laughs> ah. Now it's working out. I'm happy. I can't tell you guys how happy this uh, makes me, because now we're just going for this. Heading over to our main hero, unloading all the generated troops, and uh, increasing the power of the upcoming bodyguards even more. And you know what's the most stupid thing? I can't just recruit the next hero, and the next hero, and the next hero, and repeat that. Okay, that's been a good start so far. We're being also attacked by the verdant uh, enemy, so next episode will be quite exciting because we'll have to fight through our AI enemy at this point. So let's see, I hope I just don't, don't get stomped right away. Speaking about stomped. So, wow, Verdant Pillar is coming up with a hard army. Dang, I just wanted to outro here. Huh. Well, I guess we'll have to move over to this safe file here, or no, well... I'm not sure how I'll be playing out this here. We're pretty far behind. Probably I also have no chance anymore to win this. I don't know. My plan here is a quite simple one. The next episode we're going to toss endless amounts of free heroes into this dude until he has no more mana left and then let's see how it works out. But even if this is going to be a loss in the next episode, I think I gained, I, I learned a lot about the DK faction in that video and I think the next time I'll be able to pull this strat off way more smoothly. So thanks for watching, drop me a comment below, leave me a thumbs up and of course consider subscribing, there's daily content coming up from my side, I'd be delighted to have you. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.